Good morning, ESM. Today I'll be sharing with you some winners from the 2021 American Music Awards. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, didn't they happen like 15 days ago on November 21st? And you would be correct, yes, they did. But I thought a recap would be nice for anyone who didn't watch the entire show or any of it, for the matter of fact. Uh, before we get into the favorite artist of the year, let's check in with news. This morning, the first case of the new Omicron variant has been confirmed in central New York. Yesterday, there were two confirmed cases in Oneida County, and there are now 12 cases statewide. This new variant was first detected in the U.S. after a San Francisco, California resident tested positive on November 28th after returning from South Africa. Onondaga County Executive Anthony J. Pacente Jr. said in a brief statement, Oneida County has confirmed with the New York State Health Department that we have two cases of COVID-19 that have tested positive for the Omicron variant. We are conducting a full investigation. In other news, former Republican Senator Bob Dole passed away this Sunday, December 5th, 2021, at the age of 98. He represented the state of Kansas from 1969 to 1996. He also acted as Senate Majority Leader for a time. During his time in office, he wielded tremendous influence on tax policy, farm, and nutrition programs, and rights for the disabled. The Hawaii Islands could soon be expecting catastrophic flooding from a storm system lasting until today. There was nearly a foot of rain in Kula and Maui in 24 hours. There is an estimated high of 25 inches in certain areas. The Hawaii governor has issued a state of emergency for the state due to heavy rains and future damage. The flooding is also affecting ceremonies planned for today's memories, honoring the events of Pearl Harbor. The day that will, in infamy, occurred 80 years ago today. Other remembrances will be happening across the United States. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ESM's Got Talent will take place on this Friday, December 10th at 8 p.m. in the High School Auditorium. The event is a Class of 2023 fundraiser. Pre-sale tickets will take place before school starting on Monday, December 6th and through December 9th. Tickets will be sold at $5 pre-sale and $8 at the door. Don't miss out on the opportunity to support the Class of 2023 and watch your classmates perform. The annual Junior Honor Society food drive that supports the Food Bank of Central New York is starting today. Please help those in need during the season by donating your canned goods in the front lobby or by donating online using this QR code. Your community needs your help. Let's show how, support, how supportive and giving we can be. All right, our first winner, Ed Sheeran, won Favorite Male Pop Artist of the Year. I didn't realize Ed Sheeran was still really that popular, but he did release his, um, his new album Equals in October, so props to him. Uh, T Swift won favorite female pop artist of the year, but did not attend to take a break to space out her appearances. She's always been extremely popular, and her music is loved by many, so the award was well deserved. Drake won male hip hop artist of the year, and he was also nominee for pop artist of the year. Uh, get another iconic nominee that was bound to win due to widespread popularity. I was surprised I didn't see Kanye West as a nominee for this category, but he actually won gospel artist of the year, which I uh, just figured out was a category last night. Megan Thee Stallion won Female Hip Hop Artist of the Year, once again not surprising. Her song Body on the Good News album also won Trending Song of the Year. And BTS won Favorite Pop Duo or Group this year among some other awards they racked up. Uh, the K-pop group has been on the rise for years now, if, and if you're on Twitter you definitely understand. They've released a few singles this year like Permission to Dance and Butter, which won the Pop Song of the Year award. Now it's not hot like summer anymore with all the snow and rain, rain we've gotten the last couple weeks, so let's head over to weather. Depending on where you drove in from this morning, you may have seen heavier snow. North of the thruway received 2 to 3 inches of snow. Today we will have a high of 34 and a low of 24 with snow showers counting off and on. Tomorrow we have a high of 33 and a low of 24. Looking ahead to this weekend, we may have a high near 60. And I'm Abby with your weather. Bad Bunny and Becky G won favorite male Latin artist and, female, and favorite female Latin artist respectively. I don't really know much about Latin music, but I do know songs featuring both and created by both artists. I haven't heard anything new by either, so I'll have to check them out. 
Luke Bryan and Carrie Underwood won favorite male and favorite female country artist of the year. I know absolutely nothing about country, so my opinion on this is sort of void. Favorite male and female R&B artist of the year were The Weeknd and Doja Cat. Planet Her was definitely one of my personal favorite albums of the year, and The Weeknd rarely ever misses when it comes to music, so both are well-deserved. Uh, I've got some bias, though. One of my favorite R&B artists is Season. She was a nominee, and Doja Cat and her are sort of tied. Before we wrap up the show with the last couple category winners, let's check our national and local sports. The New England Patriots continue their winning streak with a win over Buffalo Bills 14 to 10. The Patriots currently have the number one seed in the AFC. They also had the lowest pass attempts in a single game since 1974, only attempting three. The Syracuse men's basketball team takes on Villanova at nine tonight with Jimmy B Classic. Last night, the girls volleyball team beat RFA in three sets. Morgan Ransom broke the all-time digs record for the school that has been withstanding since 2011. The previous record was 241 digs, and Morgan currently has 244, with only four games played so far in the season. Morgan also recorded one kill and two aces. Laura Sitnik had five kills, two assists, and one ace, and seven digs, while Emma Tallarico had four kills and three aces. Autumn Stoya also recorded four kills, two blocks, and one ace. Congratulations to the boys' soccer player. Zach Schufo for making the East Region team. In the upcoming games, the boys and the girls bowling team have a match at Liverpool at 3.30 p.m. Boys basketball plays at home against Marcellus at 5 p.m. Girls basketball plays at home against Carthage at 6.45 p.m. Ice hockey is playing at Baldensville at 7.30. And I'm Ryan with your sports. Olivia Rodrigo won New Artist of the Year with her quintessential album, Sour. Had to make sure to mention her or I'd probably get an album written about me. At this point, a majority of people know the words to at least three of songs of hers. And I don't think there was a day this summer I didn't hear Driver's License or Trader. And last but not east, least, the Artist of the Year was BTS. As I said before, they've continued to grow in popularity, and I don't see them stopping anytime soon. They've never won a Grammy, though. Maybe that'll change this year. That's all I have for y'all today, and I hope you enjoyed the recap. So from all of us here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday, and stay tuned for tomorrow's show.